I'm Elmar Liddens from the Circle of Flanders, which is the uh, agency or organization that's part of the OVAM, the Flemish Waste Agency, uh, to promote circular economy in, in the Flanders region. Uh, I'm the facilitator for the circular economy, one of the 15 or 14 people that are working in our team. Um, I would, would, would call myself a policy entrepreneur as well. Uh, I'm really engaged with policy making, uh, policy projects, but um, in a proactive manner, uh, you know, finding new projects, finding new ways to think about our society and uh, see, see what works or not. Um, so this is uh, what I do. I've, I've done different things at OVAM. Uh, different uh, policy fields, engage with different policy fields, bio-waste or uh, legislation. Uh, but uh, the, 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 the transitions towards the circular economy is really an important topic to work on these days. That, that was, should be in 2014 with, with uh, the I, uh, IABR in Rotterdam at that time. Uh, Walter, a colleague of mine, Walter Temst, uh, uh, found, found that, that that should be a really interesting uh, uh, exhibition to, to visit. Um, we, we went there together with a colleague uh, and, and some, some other people and, and I was really astonished and, uh, and, and, and uh, pleased by what, I, what I've seen, what, uh, what I experienced. So the, the study of by fabric, fabrications at that time uh, around the metabolism of, uh, of Rotterdam mm -hmm. and also uh, a study on, on the metabolism of, of, of the Netherlands as a whole, of the Delta region, was really interesting and they used the word urban metabolism. Um, I've been uh, more familiar with industrial e ecology from my, from my studies. Uh, it was a concept that was used but not really, you know, very much used or very much put in practice under the umbrella of a circular metabolism or an urban metabolism. So in, in the Rotterdam exhibition, the IABR, I was really, you know, uh, uh, really enthusiastic about, about the concept and, and what, it, what it could bring and uh, the discussion it provoked. It, it started uh, uh, together with, with thinking about a circular economy as well in 2014, it, it came, uh, it came uh, both, uh, both ways, you know, like from a circular perspective, you need to think about the flows and the, the waste streams that are going uh, in and around your city or in your region. Um, and, and from a metabo metabolic perspective, you, sh you should think about this as well and uh, connect different flows and different uh, um, uh, approaches actually. To, to have a complete picture of your of your uh, system, um, because uh, uh, like from 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 2004 2005 we have a real uh, big thing going on about system thinking. Okay, what can we do in a system that is our society? And uh, waste is a part of it, materials are a part of it, and uh, it needs uh, some uh, good thinking and uh, good concepts to have uh, real solutions. Um, and in 2014, it, it really uh, 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 gathered pace and, 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 uh, and momentum uh, to, to talk about a circular economy and also to talk about urban metabolism. So from that point on, uh, we've been interested and we've been um, involved in, in research, actually. Uh, most of the time we've been involved with research, uh, research by design and research into the, the material flows of, an, of a region or a city. And as a, a general regional agency, we, uh, um, we, we partnered, we, we worked together with uh, some of the, the, the lo more local uh, initiatives that, were, that, uh, that, that have been going on. Like, it, for, for example, in the region of Limburg, um, which was struck by a, a, a closing down of a big, uh, big company, Fort, uh, the car, car company. Uh, so there was a new uh, economic uh, plan necessary to, to to think about the region, what's what's the, the the perspective of this of this region, and of course then then the concept of the metabolism of the region and circular economy came up um, as an innovative way to think about the region. Uh, so uh, we supported uh, research, uh, we initiated research and discussions, not only research but uh, a lot of you know uh, discussions with policymakers, with entrepreneurs, with uh, local uh, people. To, to start thinking about a new uh, perspective for the region. 
And this is a, a thing that we've uh, that we've been doing for for in some instances in in, in the last uh, four to five years. Some things are uh, have been really new to me, like research by design, which was also an eye opener. Like okay, first see the flows in your city or in your region and uh, try to to couple them uh, in in a way. And then make the link to, to planning and design, uh, which is really new to me. So um, for me, that was that was really important uh, to to get this uh, get this uh, more into into detail for me for myself. Um, and and it, it still needs to be uh, it still needs to be elaborated and still needs to be fine tuned. So uh, how can we indeed? work with uh, research by design at what stage do you really need research by design and and the work of uh, uh, planners and at what stage do you need the work of uh, policy makers or uh, data specialists um, so this is still an exploration we are more or less in because it's not a, a standardized uh, approach this is not an is institutionalized way of thinking um, uh, we are more familiar with waste statistics and so forth. We are familiar with waste planning, uh, and uh, there, there you have a lot of regulation around. Um, so this is a field that is quite, quite new to us. And um, yeah, we, we've been working from from uh, a top-down agenda as well, and also from a bottom-up agenda on both in both ways. And it really depends on the situation where you're in or the context. Uh, that you find yourself in, um, depending on the region or the city that poses the problem there, or that asks the problem, or that wants to discuss the, the issue. And um, this, is, this, uh, this hasn't changed the last four to five years. This is still going on, and there's, there's so much to learn from, from this approach. And uh, uh, well, all these elements I've mentioned, like bottom-up discussion or uh, connecting top-down agenda with bottom-up agendas, uh, involving research by design, uh, involving uh, new uh, new new flows of data. Um, uh, th this is, these are all elements that that you really need uh, in your work, and um, it's still going on. For for me, and, and maybe a bit for my organization as well, the. The, the political ecology perspective w was a bit uh, at the background mm -hmm. and uh, that's one thing that I, I've, I've been learning as well uh, in the last year or a uh, year and a half that these aspects are, are really much more important and that, that should enrich the concept of a circular metabolism. Um, uh, this, is, this, this has been a change for me but not for all of us in the community because some of them some of the, the researchers are very well acquainted with it, um, with the need of thinking in, in political power balances and, and, and societal questions. Um, but for the circle economy, it's, it's, it's been put on the background a bit. And that, that we need to take to the fore, that we make, make a, a central point of discussion uh, in the next, uh, next two to three years. Um, then it gets really. Uh, then, then it can, can have more impact than it has right now. It has impact. We know that companies and people are willing to to step into the circular economy. They're uh, showing what they can do, and there 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 are practices. But at the same time, people are left out, or uh, regions are not developing in a, an optimal way. And then you should indeed also uh, look at the uh, societal questions of inequality or of. Uh, cooperation of uh, uh, distribution of welfare and so forth. Uh, this is an interesting challenge for the for the coming uh, years. Well, there are two actually two communities in a broad sense. Um, first, you have these existing companies and uh, municipalities and people that are actually trying to figure out how they could work on a circular economy in their city or region or in their companies. Um, and you have all kinds of hubs and community or sub-communities in, in, in Flanders. Uh, and then you have a research, more a research-oriented community around a circular metabolism. And these two communities aren't connected at this point uh, today. Um, 
local communities and municipalities, for example, I speak for because I have some experience working with uh, local and regional um, authorities and communities. Um, they are not actually involved or they are not really looking into the concept of the urban metabolism, uh, except for some bigger entities like Antwerp or Ghent, um, or like I said, the, the region of Limburg. Um, but the other ones, uh, they are, are, are feeling you know, overwhelmed by all the information and all the targets that are being uh, put uh, onto them. Uh, and, and they really uh, yeah, are busy with, with, with the things that, that, are, that they should do or need to do by, by default. Um, so these new concepts um, are, are, are not gaining too much ground at this mo point. Um, and, and I think we are, we are actually, as Circle of Flanders, is, is, is um, involved with those bo both communities. You know, like the, the research community, uh, Brussels is a very, very s a serious spot uh, in this, uh, with, with people from ULB and, and people from the city and so on. Um, uh, and of course also in, in Flanders there are some people very, very much from the universities that are involved. Uh, but now we have to take the we have to make the connection with with uh, entrepreneurial area uh, communities and uh, uh, companies and, and local authorities. They are um, they're sometimes just out of uh, uh, a lack of lack of time or a lack of not a, not of a lack of interest, but a lack of time to to be to be involved. So we should work together with the. Uh, uh, VVSG, for example, which is the uh, the Flemish uh, organization for uh, uh, for municipalities and cities, and other other institutes to to get this on the agenda and to see what do they need, what do they want, um, and how can they become a community. Um, and I think talking about the metabolism is is also a bit frightening for them because it's it sounds complex. Um, so you should talk about integrated problem solving um, or a circular, uh, a circular agenda uh, and then, then you get easier access to, to them um, because a, a metabolic uh, picture of their area, um, uh, putting effort into that part is, is um, sometimes a bit uh, worrying or frightening. Yeah. There's a way that we use our language. So, you know, what, what kind of language do we have to use to, to, get the, to get these things on the agenda, to keep it on the agenda as well, to broaden the agenda, to deepen it. There are the physical networking activities, of course. Uh, you can uh, uh, visit a place together and see what's happening there. Uh, uh, in November there is a circular economy hotspot in Belgium, which is a, a nice event, and then you speak to each other. Um, um, we have some good hope that that's some of uh, the cities in, in, in Flanders are really taking it up, like Leuven or Ghent, Antwerp as well, and other cities, uh, smaller and bigger cities. And we should connect to the, the, the networks that already exist to, to put it on the agenda. Because if you create another one, another community of practice, then it might be, um, uh, then might be on top of other things and that might be, uh, uh, well, not, not too, too uh, impactful. We, we've been so so uh, grateful for the work that you've been doing, <laughs> uh, uh, both both content-wise. You know, like uh, getting the foundations of of of, of, of the circular metabol metabolism uh, right, and also about uh, the way you are de dealing with organization and people and and the network. So that's a, a really good job. Um, you are actually a researcher, but you're more than that. You're engaged with policy making, um, and this is this is uh, like from practitioners and from policy makers. They should be the same. You know, I should, I would love to be a researcher as well at some point, or two days a week, or one day a week, and uh, I would love to be an entrepreneur as well. Uh, you know, like taking a risk in the circular society, uh, uh, carrying things out. Um, so this hybrid. Hybrids of, of different roles. That, that's that's our that's our uh, challenge, uh, and I hope we we uh, 
we might take it to a success with Circle of Flanders. Um, but at every level, people can, can have these, these different roles and take up these, these different roles. Uh, I hope so for the future. <laughs>